about and this video is going to be me talking about that situation talking about my last roommate situation like why I left and then we're just gonna get into rearranging this room but if you want to just skip to seeing me Jordan and my friend Devin doing that then go ahead and skip to whatever timestamp I'll put it somewhere on the screen but if you want to hear about all the tea then just go ahead and stick around if you enjoy, make sure to give it a thumbs up at any point in this video. If you want to, subscribe, stick around, and comment any roommate questions you may have or if you are in college or are going to college soon. If you have any questions, just let me know or shoot me a DM. Okay, so we're going to go back in time to when I was in my last room because I want to kind of talk about that before I get into the most recent stuff since it's like in order, I guess. Um, so the very first room that I moved into, I don't think I ever posted a dorm tour or even a move-in vlog. Like, you probably saw it at some points, I'm pretty sure. In that room, I actually did have my own bathroom. Well, I did share it with the room across, but I had my own bathroom. I didn't have to go to a communal restroom and shower with all these other girls or whatever. And so that was basically the main selling point for me. I really just wanted my own bathroom. I moved in there, the walls were pink, the tile, it had like tile flooring, all the furniture was like black and a really really dark wood and it just wasn't very aesthetically pleasing. I also had an RA as my sweet mate and she wasn't ever like rude or anything, it was just I guess like the vibes that I personally got or any like slight altercations we did kind of get into just kind of pushed me over the edge. I'm someone where something really small can happen and I will exaggerate it to give myself a reason to feel uncomfortable if that makes sense. I don't know if anyone else is like that but that's kind of like how I am. So ever since then I just was already not feeling it. I would always be in this building because this is where my boyfriend lives. We would always be cooking stuff here in their kitchen because they do provide a kitchen for the students. The last storm hall I was in did not do that. I also just didn't like the people in that dorm hall. It was just not the right fit for me. Like, I didn't feel right there. And you know that happens. Like, if you're going to be living somewhere and you don't feel comfortable or just don't have good vibes there, then it's always okay to move. Like, I literally put that on my application. Like, that I don't feel that there's stuff for me to be academically successful there and I just didn't like it. Um, so fortunately, I was able to move. But the uncomfortable part was having to tell my roommate because it wasn't anything with her really at all. But I don't think that she believed that and I think that that is what made me feel so guilty because I didn't know how to actually like tell her that it wasn't her because well, no matter what I said she wasn't ever really going to believe me like I, I could already tell. Unfortunately um, when I did leave I didn't have a fridge or a microwave because she provided that for us in that room however I did have to take the TV, my fish tanks, all my stuff so that was the more awkward part. I think when I first told her I was moving rooms, she thought I was going to stay in the same building but just moved with someone else, which wasn't the plan. I was literally leaving the entire building to go somewhere else. So then I moved into the building that I'm currently in and I got my new roommate and unfortunately she didn't even know that she was getting a roommate until I showed up and they texted her and was like, hey, you need to move the stuff around like you have a roommate now. Yeah, because she was in here by herself for a lot of the semester, which, I mean, if someone isn't telling me that I'm not getting a roommate, I'm not going to make effort to, like, move it, you know? Like, it's just all going to, I'm going to leave it the way, it, because it was on break. We left for Christmas break, came back, I was in this room now, and she had no idea. Um, fortunately, she was super sweet about it. She was such a sweet roommate, and honestly, like, I, there was no bad... There was no like bad vibes when she left, like it was literally so fine, like it was literally okay. So I got here, she was super sweet, we moved around the room. She's very social, I'm not, so I think our lifestyles just already were super different. Um, she has a lot of friends that live in this hall, and so it, I would have done what she did it had it been me in her shoes. Um, so anyway, I was sitting in my math class and she had texted me that she was actually going to be moving out of this room and into a room um, down the hall with one of her friends, which I mean like well, who wouldn't do that you know like to live with a friend is like amazing versus living with a stranger that you don't like really know so anyway she texted me that and I was like girl that's like so fun just let me know if you need any help like that's okay like thank you for being a good roommate because she honestly was so she moved out and then I decided that I was obviously gonna move the room around because my RA told me that I could and even at that she said that it was so late in the academic year that I probably won't get another roommate. Now if I do that's totally fine obviously I'm willing to move anything like not that I have a choice like if I get a roommate I need to move this stuff but I don't know. I'm just super glad that I do get to have my own room now and I don't have to pay for it because I didn't choose 
to have my own room. It just so happened to be that way. A lot of people be scared here. A lot of people will be scared and I'll name them. Or girls at least don't actually prefer this specific building. Like they all want to be in the one that I moved away from. So I did move this room around and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the footage for that. If you want an updated room tour because I'll probably give you one anyway. Then just let me know down below. I know for a long time I was really like man all these YouTubers like pay for rooms by themselves. Like I would never do that and I still wouldn't do that. But the fact that I'm able to have that luxury with Without having to pay that extra money is amazing. I even get a king size bed now that I have the two twin beds pushed together, so that's really cool. But anyway, enough talking. Let's just go ahead and get into the actual footage.
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that rearranging footage. Um, we were so indecisive, well I was so indecisive as to what I wanted to do with everything, but we ended up figuring it out and I think it's super cute. My friend Devin has yet to come over again to like see what it looks like, so I'll probably text her tomorrow or something. But if you want an updated room tour, again, just let me know. I have so many video ideas now that I'm able to do whatever I want in my own space and don't have to go film in a classroom. Um, so anyway, that's all. If you guys enjoyed, follow me on Instagram, subscribe down below, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.